So continuing to field more questions here for US Simili, Salar Sarwar Khan within the group chat asks a multiple paragraph question about, is it stupid for him to sit his US Simili three weeks from now if he has not gone through all of the NBME review? He says, would it be stupid to go into the exam without hardcore NBME review just to be able to apply to the match this year? Or is it better to just prepare properly and apply next year? Okay, so I will give some important points here. So before we get started, well, I'm gonna be an asshole like I usually am, tell you to subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel, share with one of your friends prepping for your simile, help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button, hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical, link is down below. And find me on Telegram, recently created a Telegram group and channel, the links are down below. Now let me address the fucking question from Salar Sarwar Khan about uh, is it stupid to go into the U.S. Simili that he has in three weeks without having hardcore reviewed all of the NBME material just so he can apply to the match this year? Is it better to properly uh, study and then apply next year? And the answer is, firstly, you will get lots of students who their primary objective, no matter what, is to just fucking apply in a certain year. So many people are okay with under-preparing if it means that they can just get a decent enough score and apply, okay? That's a no questions asked, no brainer for many people. The primary objective is just, OMG, I have to apply this year. And if that's the case, we will do everything we can to optimize your prep so that you can do as well as possible, okay? Even if it's not your peak potential, but do as well as possible so you can sit this year. And unfortunately, that may entail not getting through all the NBME material as much as you could have otherwise, okay? For your question, Salar, three weeks is plenty of fucking time, bro. Okay, I know you're preparing for the 2CK. If, you're, if for some of you guys watching this, you're preparing for step one, it's the same answer. Dude, the CMS forms, you could be knocking those out two per day. We have six through 11 uh, NBMEs for step two. Three weeks, dude, plenty of fucking time. You really have no excuses, okay? Now look, I understand. There's gonna be a certain element of like, you might ADHD the fuck out, trying to do questions eight to 12 hours a day. You might uh, have to deal with class or rotations. You might have to deal with a part-time job. I understand. So if it really comes down to it and you say, no, but really, I'm not gonna have time to get through all of the NBME material, maybe once, but not to review it as hardcore as I otherwise could. The answer is, no, I do not think you should postpone a whole year. Uh, I do not think that should be the case. You are going to have to just learn to be efficient. Not learn, you don't even have time for that. You just need to be fucking efficient and get through the material. The 2CK is once. The score will fucking matter, as you know. So get through that material. That's what you have to prioritize. Take time off from your job if you have to. Get in trouble because you don't show up on rotations. I'm serious. You have to fucking knock 2CK out of the park because when you apply for residency, they're just going to fucking look straight at that 2CK number and that's the bulk of your competitiveness. Okay? You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.